Well, something uh, historic seems to be brewing in, um, in the universe, or at least in the comic universe, um, and that would be uh, the eventual, or well, the, um, uh, the release of the uh, film, the long-anticipated film Black Panther from the, from the uh, Marvel Universe of Comics, as you say, and uh, the Black Panther is due out uh, next February, something like that. Uh, February 16th, I think, yep, I remember that date. Uh, uh, like that. But just a little bit on the Black Panther, a little bit, a little history. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Black Panther Comics uh, was uh, first uh, created um, uh, in the Marvel Universe by Stan Lee and his, and his um, you know, his, his anchor, or whatever they call those guys, um, the Kirby guy, uh, all New Yorkers. Um, and he was, uh, uh, as a as, as the, I guess you would call him the first black Marvel superhero. He was created in 1966. By the way, 1966, Black Panther? What other thing was created in 1966? Hmm. Oh, the Black Panther Party for, you know, self-defense. Weird. That's interesting. A political party as well as a, a comic book. Interesting. In fact, I think that Stan Lee uh, beat Black Panther to the title, if you want it, because I think that Black, that comic came out in a, or the, the character first appeared in, in like summer of 1966, and I think the um, the Black, Black Panther Party uh, for Self Defense uh, really made its debut, if you will, in uh, in late '66, like in um, autumn of '66. So that would be interesting uh, if anybody wants to pick pick up on that little thread. But um, more to the point, more to the, uh, to this point, um, I've been uh, watching all these. Right now, it's a phenomenon of trailer reactions. Right? This is different when you used to wait the comic book would come out, and everybody would get the comic book and they would you know, look through it or whatever have you. That would be that, that would be it for the next for the next month. Um, now, I grew up. Uh, I never got a Black Panther comic, uh, but um, I, because I started reading comics, in, I guess in the, in the fifties actually, uh, uh, my first superhero that I identified with was actually Spider Man because he had a whole costume there, but right shortly after Spider-Man, almost immediately after Spider-Man, I identified with, uh, with Daredevil, uh, and Daredevil was my, my guy, my go-to guy. But my thing with comics was from a very early age, you know, uh, in the late 50s into the, into the 60s, so by the time we got to the 60s, I was sort of out of the comic book phase. But what's interesting about the comic, um, the Black Panther comic, the modern Black Panther comic, um, uh, not too modern, not the one that Tad Ashley Coates uh, did, but the original Stan Lee uh, one that he did. Um, what's interesting about that is that they, uh, 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 I mean, aside from the, the whole the whole name thing, just 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 think about it. This is really uh, super interesting that we had the Black Panther, and and it would be come from such a black perspective, being created by Stan Lee, and it's, and it's you know basically this white guy, you know. Want to put this whole really good effort Jewish New York right guy. Uh, that, that's like extraordinary. You know, and in fact, the first uh, black superhero, my brain is kind of interestingly enough, I used to read a lot of um, uh, Spencer Fire um, novels, uh, detective novels. And uh, there was a character, Spencer's not sidekick, but associate, uh, was a character named Hawk. And then Hawk spun off eventually into, in the, uh, I guess it was the 80s, into, uh, um, uh, into his own series. I uh, watched the DC, and he was really the first uh, black super superhero on this scale that I really uh, saw because, you know, Hawk, as played by Avery Brooks, was, uh, was, a, was a superhero <laughs> in my brain, if I looked at it that way. But let me get back to this, this whole trailer bit. It's interesting the reactions of like black men, black women, uh, white women, white men, to this trailer is really psychologically, it must be, somebody could do a study on this. Because when you have the black men, whether being their nerds or, you know, or, 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 or dudes, uh, they have this energy like, oh, man, oh, they jump over down and just go crazy like that, you know? The, the, uh, the white men, they're more like, they, they watch it, you know, and then they go like, and that's, and then before you hold it, they say, that's the, you know, they, they, they don't even get hot. I mean, that's the, I'm 
to how I feel right now. So they're not as animated. And black women are going like, you know, oh, oh, oh. That kind of is really fascinating to see these kind of different reactions to the trailer that came out. In fact, the trailer is brilliantly uh, uh, brought forth uh, because, not because, it's brought forth because when you when you look at it, they released this just like trailer nobody was expecting. They released it between in the NBA Finals, you know, and, and, and so like halftime, whatever they, they, they released it. And, and what's interesting enough is that that's a good move because who was watching that basketball game, the NBA Finals, you know, it was the, with the Warriors and the Cavs, somebody like that. Who's watching that? But like a lot of black dudes, you know what I mean? Yeah, women too, but a lot of mostly like black dudes. So it was like really interested to, to, to bring this out on that larger platform and knowing that the black people are going to be the first people to look at this thing. It's going to be amazing uh, of, how, of how stuff goes. Was, uh, the whole strategy of this Marvel strategy is just amazing how, to, how they're doing stuff. So I look forward to, to all this. In fact, in fact let's go, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Go back to Wakanda. The, 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 the trail looks absolutely magnificent, and you have to uh, realize, especially when they have, they, they start off with these, you know, two white guys, you know, which I guess brought people in. But what's really interesting to me is when they when you, they reveal what kind of through waterfalls and stuff like that, but then they reveal it. Well, it's, it's like uh, I guess the, the you know. Well, it's like gold. It's like oh, they, they, they're at different levels on this. This looks only I can try to go like 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 that kind of uh, Mansa Musa gold. You know what I mean? Like the whole kingdom gold. And of course, you know uh, Wakanda. Oh, we should we should mention this. Hold on a second. I bring out my uh, my Benin flag. Has nothing to do with what I'm saying. But Wakanda. If you look at this, according to like the, uh, I think it was. Uh, Captain America or, or Civil War, one of those kind of kind of films. But uh, Wakanda, the place where you know where uh, uh, where the Black Panther hails from, is located basically right here, like between like Uganda, Kenya, right here, like Uganda, uh, maybe you know Rwanda, uh, round about there, someplace. You know that that whole uh, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya area right there. That's where. Uh, 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 T'Challa, who's the uh, you know the leader, oops, sorry about that, who's also the who's actually the leader of, of the kingdom, this isolated, this isolated kingdom. So uh, it's going to be quite interesting how this sort of changes racial things and everything like that because this movie it looks to be so good. You can even uh, look at it as to say. Uh, um, uh, the excellence, let me put this, the excellence of this, of this looks like the trailer, the excellence of it, is now you have this thing, especially with, with black filmmakers, they're not competing against mediocrity now, they have to compete against their own excellence. It's like something like, like, like black filmmakers, I'm talking about like, like, like the Jordan Peele, you know, you know, the Jordan Peele's and all that stuff, the, their level now of committing, not against the, the establishment or whatever it is, they have to compete against some incredible black filmmakers. Whoa, this is getting very, very culturally, this is getting very, very, very interesting. And I really love to see uh, how, um, how racially this thing, this, 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 this breaks down. Because of one thing, I would say this, I'll, I'll end here. They always have this, 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 this question, oh, if, you know, if the white man didn't come, if the European didn't come to Africa, where would you be? Well, according to this legend here, Wakanda legend, We'd be in a, an incredible technological space. We would, you know, we would be a far in advance than any other civilization that you've, that you've seen on, on, on the planet so far. But that's all I have to say right now. I just had to do it because the, 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 the reaction to this trailer is how you just, just watching the reaction to this trailer, different, different kinds of people was just really amazing and, and, and fun. And uh, I know people might think you're wasting your time with this, but it's really not even a distraction. If you, if you break some of these things down, it's like really fantastic. And that's just a little observation for me who actually, uh, this is sort of my belly book. I used to actually do film reviews for uh, WBA radio and I used to, uh, used to do a lot of things. Anyway, this is a, a little uh, posting for me from something that I just find is going to be a cultural phenomenon. The United States, you know, Africa and the United States comes together. Uh, it's just, just amazing. Yeah, I also don't leave out Europe. Anyway, that, that's, that's it for me. For me, T from the past is taking a train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.